For more than half a century, the French have been turning the immense power of the sea into clean electricity. This is La Ronce energy plant in Brittany, a dam that holds back the tide and forces it through giant turbines that churn the water. 124 turbines of the, the plant. 20 metres below the surface were allowed inside one that's been drained for maintenance. The waters come from the sea over there and goes through uh, to the estuary. The plant cost almost a billion pounds in today's money, but it generates enough electricity for more than 200,000 people. It costs a lot to, to build such a, a plant, but uh, as we use it for, very, for decades, maybe for centuries, we will uh, get the money back. Britain has the second strongest tide in the world after Canada, peaking in the Bristol Channel and the northwest of England. But tidal power plants are still on the drawing board. Seven of the most promising could be built with the right backing by 2030, producing enough electricity for around four million homes. The big attraction of harnessing the tides is that they're predictable far into the future. Not just how much the water will rise and fall, but how much power can be generated. Like nuclear, tidal energy can help fill the gap when the sun doesn't shine and the wind doesn't blow. In Liverpool, there are plans for a tidal power plant across the estuary of the River Mersey, but the Metro Mayor says the government is holding back, unsure about the technology. The government just needs to have confidence that the age of tidal has come. Not only would this project be great for UK PLC, but the development of the technology itself and perhaps the modularization of it means that we could export this around the world, creating jobs. The government's energy strategy only mentioned tidal power plants or lagoons in passing, instead betting big on nuclear. This tidal engineer says it's a big miss. Your cost of a nuclear power station could be typically four times the cost of a large lagoon project, but your lagoon project will last 120 years. It doesn't have the problems of long-term challenges of dealing with the nuclear waste. The government says it is open to considering tidal projects if they offer value for money, but advocates of marine energy say the spike in fuel prices makes reliable power from the sea look even more attractive. Thomas Moore, Sky News, Northern France.